Welcome to the College of American Pathologists e-learning module, Creating Instrument Manager Rules for Direct Transmission. This module is intended for laboratories planning to use Data Innovations Instrument Manager to transmit proficiency testing results directly to the CAP. The module will demonstrate how to create the Instrument Manager rule necessary to transmit proficiency testing, or PT data, directly to the CAP using Data Innovations middleware. To meet requirements, you must create a rule that tells Instrument Manager to transmit only PT data, not patient data, to the CAP. We will call this rule the CAP PT Specimen Identification Rule. Each instrument must have this rule defined in Instrument Manager. Before you create the rule, make sure you have a copy of the user guide available and open on the computer you're using to run Instrument Manager. Use a flash drive if necessary. The user guide contains the rule code that you may copy and paste into Instrument Manager. To begin, open the Configuration menu. Select Specimen Management Configuration. Then select Rules Processing. The Rules Setup screen appears. Open the Select Configuration drop-down menu. And select the instrument configuration for which you want to create the rule. In this example, we'll select MRE. In the Tree View section, click the plus sign next to the Test Invalidation folder if it isn't already expanded. Click the plus sign next to the Incoming Result folder. Then select the Before Message Queued Internally folder. To create a new rule, click the New Rule icon in the toolbar. An item called New Rule appears with If then, and else sub-items. Your goal is to enter the rule code for the if and then sub-items in the box below the tree view. You can type the rule manually, but to avoid errors, we strongly recommend that you copy the rule from the user guide. Switch over to the user guide on your computer to find the code. Note that there is more than one version of this code. Make sure you copy the code for your version of your Instrument Manager application. First, copy the IF statement code for the rule. Highlight the code and copy it to the clipboard. Switch back to Instrument Manager. Click Next to the IF heading and paste the code. Switch back to the User Guide. Highlight the then statement code and copy it to the clipboard. Switch back to Instrument Manager. Scroll down if necessary to show the then heading. Click next to the then heading and paste the code. Note, ensure that the destination connection name that appears in quotes in the then statement matches the name of your CAP connection exactly. In this example, the connection name is CAP. However, your name may be different. There is no else code for this rule, so you can ignore that heading. The if and then codes automatically populate the respective parts of the new rule in the tree above. The text will be colored red to let you know that the rule has not been saved to the production area. Next, give the rule a name. In the Properties section, click into the Description field and highlight the default description, New Rule. We recommend you name the rule CAP PT Specimen Identification. Type CAP PT Specimen Identification into the field. Now you can save the rule. There are two steps to saving a new rule. Testing the rule set for errors and saving the live rule set. To test the rule set, click the Save Test Invalidation Rule Set button. A dialog appears asking you if you're sure you want to save the rule. Click Yes. Another dialog displays the results of the save process, including errors, if any. 
If an error in the rule is detected, the error will also be highlighted in yellow. If there were an error, you would have to go back and fix it. There are no errors here, so click OK. The second step is to save a live rule set. Click the Save Live Rule Set button. A dialog appears asking if you are sure. Click Yes. And the rule is now live. You can copy this rule to other instrument configurations. To do this, open the Live folder in the tree by clicking its plus sign. Open the Incoming Result folder. Open the Before Message Queued Internally folder. Select the rule. Then click the Copy Rule button in the toolbar. A window opens showing a list of available instrument configurations. Check the configuration to which you want to copy the rule. In this example, we'll check Other Instrument. Click the Copy Rules button. A message appears at the bottom of the window confirming that the rule was copied. Click Close. And that's it! You have successfully created the CAP PT Specimen Identification Rule for one instrument configuration and copied the rule to another configuration. Note that you must save this rule within each instrument configuration for the rule to apply for that instrument. If you have any issues setting up this rule or other rules, please contact the Data Innovations Support Department. This concludes the e-learning module, Creating Instrument Manager Rules for Direct Transmission. For additional information about using direct transmission, consult the user guide.